Welcome back. I hope those various commercials slipped seductively inside your mind. Prepare to spread your attention span once more as we go into our final celebrity challenge. For my very last challenge of this series, I've chosen a game which I hope will send us out on a high note. Prop cycle. Soaring around the heaven on the bicycle, my final contestant's task involves popping balloons worth varying amounts of points. Their challenge is to amass 2,000 points before the clock runs out. I feel the time counting away on this, the last show, and I only hope my challenger will provide us with a fitting finale at this most sad moment. And so for our final celebrity challenge of the series, we have a guest of meteorological proportions. Please welcome the bloke who pits the man in weatherman, Mr. Michael Fish. Welcome to the show, Michael. Thank you very much. Now, Michael, did you ever, did you always want to be a weatherman, even when you were younger? A meteorologist, that's different. I yeah. always wanted to work with the weather in the Met Office, but more often just sort of had thoughts of doing research or something like that. Never in my wildest dreams did I ever think I'd end up on television. We're very big on fashion on this show. Now, you've got... Um, Are you? Yeah, well, I was hoping you'd give me an assessment of my outfit then. Well, it's cheap in a way. <laughs> Not, not cheap and nasty, but right. cheap because you don't have to wear ties. And oh, I right. spend a fortune buying ties oh. all the time, you see. That's so because, you get away with it. That's because I spent so much money on the lining. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> oh, see that on there? A nice little bit of gold there. Snap. Oh, so, um, <laughs> well, that's kind of more of a green note, uh, Michael. Oh, but but I, I went all the way to Oslo to buy this jacket. OK. <laughs> so I'm glad you got your money's worth. Um, OK, Michael, if you'd like to uh, assume your challenge position upon the bike, I'll go up to the Thank you very much. Position. And providing my own personal warm front is visit Kirk Ewing. Kirk, what's your favourite kind of weather? My favourite weather is smur, Mr. Diamond. What's what smur, Mr. Ewing? Smur is light Scottish rain. Is it? Yes. It's never fallen on me. It's a beautiful thing. Well, we're in the presence of a television presenting legend tonight, and we've also got Michael Fish as well as me. So what advice could you give him? Well, there's a few things to remember about this game, and basically pedalling, but not to pedal too fast, right? Aim for the balloons. Uh, if, you, if you miss a balloon, don't stop uh, and try and turn around and go back for it. Just keep going, because the, the balloons at the end are worth more points. OK, thank you very much. Um, uh, Mr Fish has to get 2,000 points worth of burst balloons before the time runs out. Best of luck, sir. Your time starts now. OK, so off goes Mr. Michael Furious Fish in the top left-hand corner. You can see his timer counting down all the time. That is the first 50-point balloon he's got. He's missed the second one. Uh, the points of the balloons will go up the further he gets through the course. We're looking for 2,000 points. Only 50 so far, Kirk. Not so good, really, but I mean, he's doing the right thing. He's choosing to ignore the ones that he misses and just keep going, pushing on to the bigger points further on down the track. OK, he's quite literally annoying... Ev uh, uh, ignoring everything. Not annoying, he might be annoying everything, but I wouldn't like to say that about now. There's a 200 point balloon, and that's more like it takes about the 250. Misses the other one, though, nearly goes right into a house, and he misses another one. What? And he misses another one. I can see a consistent theme here, Kirk. It certainly is. It's the, it's the fish's prerogative to do so. He should have picked up that last balloon, though, because that would have given him some extra time and helped him complete the challenge a bit easier. OK, he's got a couple more points in. He's got 32 seconds left. We're nearly halfway through the challenge, and he hasn't gone to 1,000 points yet. He's on seven. Oh, it's got quite a oh, quick. It's just not stopping. That kind of going up and up. One basically just trying to sort of not hurt anybody on the course. I mean, he's basically, he's got to get the biggest points he can, and at the moment he's just sort of careering around like a mad flying fish with no motivation. He's only got nine seconds left. He wants to get some kind of, like, balloon to extend his time, otherwise he's not going to do it. The time's sticking out. Three, two, three, and 15. It's, oh, no, he's got a time thing. He's got a time thing. He's back on 12. He's in a cabin, Kirk. He's in a cabin. There's another time balloon here. So if he picks this one up, yep, he's got another few seconds added on to score. That's a good bonus for him. It's quite literally the secret cabin of extra time. Ooh. Fish is there, Mr. Fish. It's exhausting. How, how did you find it? 
Well, I was a bit guilty, you see, because they look to me like Met Office radio song balloons. They're balloons we send up with instruments, and they're so important and so valuable that I was pretty reluctant to shoot any down, really. That is one of the finest excuses. <laughs> uh, we've heard 500 points. It uh, wasn't bad at all. It was, it was a fine performance. No, it's the first time I've ever played any of that, those sort of games, so... Uh... Well, it's the first time for everything. Not bad. And uh, a fitting end to, uh, to the last celebrity for this series. Please give it up to our special guest tonight, Mr. Michael Fish. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, for one final time, I have clasped the hand of a legend. Now we're going to go to the final feature of this series. For one final time, I'll be sent across to far distant lands. For one final time, I will be able to flirt outrageously with attractive ladies. And for one final time, you will ponder the moral implications of the fact I get paid for all this.